So thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, to be uh, still here, uh, awake. And uh, we would like now to present uh, the activities uh, of Work Package 4 and Work Package 5. These are the Work Package on Sustainability and the Work Package on um, One Health Strategies and uh, National Action Plans Member States Engagement. Sorry, technical. Okay. So first of all, let me yeah present you the work package legal for work package for sustainability, Francois and Agat, and for work package five, Rosa, myself, so Haneke, Rosaline, and Corinne, and all six of us are here. So if you have later more questions, you can reach out. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. so this, um, as I said, these are the representative of World Package 4 and World Package 5. All of us are here today, so you can reach us after, during the, the break and uh, during the, the next, uh, after the meeting, if you have more questions on us. And uh, we will start um, with this background. And of course, the background for us is uh, as work package four and five were more or less the same in joint action one. Is this uh, joint action one that, uh, that was held between 2017, 2021. And in this work package, uh, <coughs> in this joint action work package five also had as topic um, uh, sustain of, of um, help member states on the implementation of national action plan and policies. The approach was a little bit different than the one that we will see for this new joint action, but at the end, um, the basis will be the same. So it's about uh, mapping the, the, the national action plan, mapping which are the needs. Uh, that can be done also by self-assessment, and after that, uh, helping one each other with in 2000, 1721 uh, was through country to country uh, visits for peer uh, review system. This will be also applied in this new joint action, but we are at many other tools uh, to provide this support. Um, in the first joint action, um, in World Package 5 participated 14 countries. World Package 4 was sustainability, we produced a lot of documents policy papers, et cetera, et cetera, that are also the basis for this new joint action. And World Package 4 was compulsory for all member states. Uh, and we will uh, explain a little bit more about the background. Thank you. Uh, okay. So um, I was mentioned the Jamrai 2 does build on the lessons learned of Jamrai 1. Um, some of you uh, are veterans of uh, Jamrai 1, so this may not be uh, news to you, but while Jam, the first Jamrai uh, produced a lot of significant and valuable uh, work, particularly policy work, uh, some lessons have been learned and those have been integrated in this joint action. Uh, firstly, it was uh, understood that there was a need to strengthen engagement from member states. It was also understood that there was a need for actions meeting uh, the country's need and also a need for concrete and continuous support particularly to translate the work of a joint action into this concrete and continuous support. There was also a need to, to uh, build and strengthen uh, existing uh, networks. So building on those lessons and building on the work that has been done by uh, JAMRAI, uh, this new uh, joint action, so JAM, JAMRAI 2, uh, uh, builds on, on those and with a view towards uh, a sustainable joint action. So we'll, we'll say, a uh, few more words on what we mean by sustainable, but the idea is that we are building on the lessons of uh, JAMRA, which mainly boil down, boil down to the need to translate <coughs> the, the, the work of a joint action into concrete, uh, significant, and continuous support to uh, the member states to implement those, uh, uh, those work. So a little bit now about the objectives of this new joint action. Indeed. Uh, a few words about the objectives of a joint action. Uh, 
Next. Uh, the general uh, objectives of a work package is uh, four and five, and same general objectives of uh, uh, joint action. So first is to provide, as I, as I mentioned, one of the main lessons from the uh, first uh, JAMRAI was the need to provide direct, sizable support to help countries in the development uh, and the update of their national actions, uh, action plan. So that support will be provided or coordinated uh, by the uh, work pack packages uh, four and, uh, and five. Uh, this aims to, uh, so uh, among the objectives as well, is the uh, aim to strengthen the responsiveness and coordination of health systems to protect uh, people from AMO in the Union, to promote the One Health approach and to make Europe a best practice uh, region. But beyond that, beyond the gen generality, is, is the, the, the focus will be on specific aspects, as, as we could uh, hear from the previous uh, presentations, the idea will be to identify the priority uh, uh, needs in terms of support for the mem member states and implement that support uh, to the member states. And so, uh, so we've got two work packages. So uh, France will be uh, leading the work package four. Uh, work package four is uh, uh, re regards sustainability. Uh, as some of you may know, sustainability is a, is a standard w uh, work package in, 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 in all, uh, most if not all, uh, joint actions, along with uh, co coordination, communication, and evaluation. And the aim of sustainability is to ensure that the work done uh, by the joint action is sustained, that is maintained, financed, up, uh, uptaken at the relevant level uh, beyond the time of the joint action. So that will be uh, one of the specific objectives of a work package four, along with, as I mentioned, the setting up and implementation of a support pro uh, program to help member states in the development and update of their national action plans. And then more specifically about uh, the specific objectives of work package five. Um, this will be very much focused on strengthening interactions between the member states and the associated countries participating in the work package. As you may know, work package five is compulsory, so we expect actively participation of all member states and the three associated countries. We want to set up and implement a support program to help all these countries in the development for the ones that need to develop some parts of this national action plan or for the update of this national action plan. And as uh, mentioned by Francois, it's very important that we focus also together with Work Package 4 on the sustainability and the implementation of the EU JAMRAI 2 outcomes. That's why we are going to work also very closely with the other work packages, but because at the end we need also the input for the, from the activities of work package uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and also work package uh, 2 and 3 to have uh, actually all of them are providing input for the uh, work package uh, 5. Which are the proposed actions in our work, um, in our action um, package, I'm sorry, in our work package five? We have um, identified five subtasks that are not here in the order, uh, but uh, you can read in the, in the program, so you have them in the part A of the very well explained. But uh, here only uh, we want to highlight the main aspects of this work package. Uh, first of all, uh, we want this commitment from member states and the action that we propose to, to enhance and to, to, to go to this commitment is um, the creation of the JAMRAI AMR policy group that will be um, uh, the main tool that we will use to communicate between us and especially the, with the, what we call the liaison officer, that is a person per member state that will be participating in this work package and work package four also, and that also will coordinate with the activities of the rest of the work package in a way that we will ensure that there is coherence between work package and activities taking place within the EU uh, joint action, uh, joint action jambrai too, and also then coordinating what at national level have to happen also to get the implementation of these actions. 
So it's very important uh, that we create this cooperative network engaging all countries through this liaison officer, but also uh, in some cases, maybe we will need other uh, policy makers at country level to ensure that this political policy level is also involved in the joint action. And um, to, to create this cooperative network, we have the, the help of the European Commission that has provided us the instrument, the tool, um, uh, the, the One Health Network tool that we will use uh, to be in contact one uh, with the other together in this uh, work package. Very important also as part of this activities that we will have is, in is, is this exchange of best practices uh, that want to favor um, uh, the, the exchange of uh, experiences and expertise between countries at uh, policy levels and ensuring that other levels like the ones that can be taking place in the specific uh, work packages are also um, taken into consideration and we can learn uh, from these activities. Um, another of the, the activities that we will need in order to put in practice all these theoretical exchanges of best practice, network, communication together, is actually what are we going to do as work? What will be the topics that we will be dealing? And at this moment, I don't know because this is something that we want to discuss together with all of you. At the end, uh, we want, uh, as uh, Francois said, this will be um, uh, providing a specific uh, help to member countries in a way that we know that not all of us are at the same level. We, not all of us have the same level of implementation and development of the national action plans and that the situations in countries are also different. So that's why we will need to identify to select a number of priority topics to improve, update, and operationalize at, uh, at the EU level to, to implement in our national action plans. And these topics can be, for example, the ones deriving from the recommendations, the council recommendations, EU guidelines that are needed, et cetera, et cetera. But we also very much acknowledge that the, the, uh, some countries may need a specific uh, programs of support. That means that the needs in country A may be very much different than the needs in country C, and we do want to leave nobody behind. So we want that everyone at once in a level that we are creating of uh, high, uh, putting higher the level at the, uh, of the all EU. So that means that for a specific countries, we will also have need-based support programs. Uh, and uh, we can choose for all specific, for, all specific, uh, for each specific country, the, the level of support and the way we have, we are going to do that. That can be through peer uh, exchanges, country to country visits, <coughs> workshop of a specific support programs. Yes, thank you. And in part of, uh, or an important part of uh, uh, support program will actually be uh, the liaison officers. Uh, as you know, there will be one representative uh, per country, and uh, he or she will fill a, a, an important role to connect the outcomes of uh, joint action from all the work packages and translate them into uh, policy. As I mentioned, this links with one of the main lessons learned from the uh, JAMRAI, this need to connect the work of a joint action into uh, national uh, policy, and the liaison officers will be linchpins, so key uh, key, uh, key role in this, uh, in this regard. They will be present in all the Work Package 5 meetings and they also intend, in, intended to attend the AMR One Health uh, Policy Group. Another uh, part of our actions we will uh, implement in Work Package 4, as I mentioned, is uh, to uh, uh, strive towards the sustainability of the work of a joint action. As I mentioned, by sustainability, we mean the long-term uh, maintenance 
sustain, sus, uh, sus, uh, sustainment of uh, outcomes of a work of a joint uh, action. So to ensure the long-term impact, sustainability, and con uh, continuation of uh, uh, those are the core objectives of uh, EU JAM, JAM Right 2. To do that, we will facilitate and assess integration of a joint action uh, priority outcomes within national and, and sub-national uh, policies. To achieve that, we will develop a guidance tool. The guidance tool will aim to ensure that all the technical work packages uh, take into account uh, the issue of sustainability right from the ups upstream uh, level of their work. So this is much, very much an important issue when we will be working towards the uh, deliverables, towards the products, to ensure that we work towards those deliverables, these products, in a way that those products are sus sustainable in uh, the, long, the long term. Uh, we will ensure that relevant priority outcomes are su sustained at the relevant level, so mainly so including the national level, of course, but also relevantly at relevant pan-European level. So I note and I uh, welcome the presence of WHO Euro here, so some, some of the work can be relevant for uh, WHO Euro's work uh, in this field at the EU level, of course, and also at the international uh, level as, uh, as well. Uh, it will be important as well, and we will undertake to identify uh, best practices in the field of AMR and ident identify those that can be uh, scaled up uh, within uh, the EU. Uh, but I can also know that based on the discussions we already had, we can already see some of the key questions we will ad address regarding sustainability. Our colleagues from the uh, surveillance work package already mentioned the importance of to achieve the sustainable uh, net networks, and that indeed will be an important issue where we look for forward to working with you on that, uh, to achieve a sustainable uh, uh, net networks beyond the time and the fi financing uh, of a joint action. And other, uh, all, all cross, so, so we will work cross-cuttingly across all uh, work packages to identify uh, relevant uh, aspects where the work of a joint ac uh, action can uh, be sus uh, sustained, for example, regarding training, uh, as, as was mentioned, uh, the training material could be relevantly uh, useful, not only at the national level, at the EU level, but also, as was mentioned, at the international level through the WHO uh, Academy, so identifying those pathways, ident identifying those uh, fora where the outcomes can be relevant and can uh, and can and can be used will be an important work uh, an important part of our work so uh, these two slides will summarize essentially what we said so regarding uh, sustainability we will uh, uh, elaborate a guide guidance tool uh, identify the priority outcomes with a goal towards dissemination and uh, a sustainability plan. So the st sustainability plan will uh, sort of flesh out how those priority outcomes can be uh, sustained, so at what level and through what means. Uh, we'll aim also to translate the best practices into policies and actions at the national level, uh, and, and that will be implemented through ta tailor-made uh, support prog uh, programs. Uh, the idea also is to translate uh, the priority outcomes of a joint action to the EU and as relevant uh, pan-European and as relevant in international uh, level as well and to help improve national action plans and strategies. So the take-home messages, essentially a summary of what we said, so a key part of uh, uh, of actions will be uh, effected through the liaison officers, which will play a key role uh, in this joint uh, action, so one per uh, country. Uh, we will uh, call, uh, help Im implement a need-based uh, pro program uh, as key to sustainable actions uh, after the end of a joint uh, action. Uh, the aim will be to integrate all of the results, uh, work uh, closely and collaboratively with all the work packages and so that the all uh, work packages are uh, uh, involved, uh, but all, con all countries are, uh, in, in, in are involved, have some time in the work packages uh, for and fine. And we look forward to working with you, indeed. Please take a seat. Thank you very much, Rosa and Francois. Yeah, we, we wanted to confuse you, so giving you too much choice. You can sit wherever you want. <laughs>
Okay, right, so thank you very much. Um, a reminder, of course, that you can send in your questions to our online audience, anyone in the room here. But I would actually like to know a little bit more about these liaison officers that you've been talking about. Um, could you maybe just go through the exact role of a liaison officer? I don't know if, who wants, would like to take this one. Here, we have, you have a mic, which oh, is luxury. So I, I think we have put some, uh, some uh, insights already in the slide about this yeah, liaison the officer. <laughs> the liaison officer is a person uh, appointed by each member state that will be uh, participating in War Package 4 and 5, both of them, but also will be our link to the other War Packages and will have as uh, main role to actively participate in all activities in World Package 4 and 5, but also at national level to translate the outputs of outcomes of uh, the joint action and uh, get the feedback at national level. Um, and in the other side is the one that also will uh, um, provide us with the input from the member state in which are the areas that uh, the specific country will uh, like to have uh, support uh, from the from the uh, from from the different aspects? Can I uh, com complete as well? Uh, so building on what uh, you just said, so the liaison officer, as I mentioned, uh, draws the lessons from this first Jamra, where one of the difficulties uh, was to get uh, the necessary engagement from the member states for lack of time, lack of fin uh, financing. So here, the, the liaison officer is financed from the joint action, so it's part of a uh, sizable su uh, support uh, pro provided by the joint uh, action to the member states. So as, as part of their functions, as uh, Rosa mentioned, to so link with the member state national action plan, translate the policy work, work in general of a joint action into a relevant uh, uh, a needs-based support program to uh, strengthen the national action plans uh, and as relevant in countries with a decentralized uh, assist, a system link also with a sub-regional uh, sub level uh, and, and perhaps to give a concrete example at least from France, my first uh, perspective, for example, looking at uh, way, uh, environmental sur uh, sur uh, surveillance, there might be a need uh, in some countries, I know France, we were doing wastewater surveillance in the health security field, so perhaps link linking the work of a joint action in AMR with the work that uh, another sec sector or the same sector but dif different, uh, uh, different unit is, is doing. So making those links as relevant, depending on, on a con uh, country specific, uh, making those links between what the joint action is, is doing and uh, ensuring the coherence with other actions at the national level and also to translate the work of a joint action into a relevant uh, policy uh, frame framework at, at the national level. If I may, I think that it's also important to, to take into account that from, uh, for, the other, for some of the other work packages, not all member states are participating actively in work package 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Uh, I think that, uh, yeah, there are maybe 16, 70, 20, but not all 27 of the plus the three ones uh, associated country. So through work package 4 and 5, we want to ensure that also the output from, from these work packages is uh, taken into account by the countries that are not participating, but is also relevant for them. But this is an important also task for the liaison officers. But concretely, how are they going to be fu funded, these liaison officers? Yeah, the, there was an email sent to all of you saying that uh, the liaison officers can be one person can be fund through the joint action, and that is a little bit up to the member state how they want to do it. So at the beginning, we, we proposed to have it on work package five or work package four, something like this. But at the end, some countries did it, but others have chosen to put the liaison officer in other work packages. Mm. So okay. the, 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 the joint action is, Co-financing, the 80% co-financing is also applying to these policy officers, but how specifically to do it is up to the member state. Very clear. And the last question that, that comes inevitably is how are these different liaison officers going to work together? 
that will be in, in this case, as uh, we explained, we will have uh, the possibility to use the tool of the European Commission from the One Health Network. We will create a subgroup using this tool, subgroup uh, One Health uh, Policy, One Health will be called. And the, through this instrument, we will be all together uh, having regular uh, calls, but also some, uh, we have provided also some uh, physical meetings, uh, if possible, taking into account other like this. This time was not possible, but maybe next year. So it will be a combination of uh, co uh, online uh, emails uh, and uh, physical meetings uh, through, uh, and of course, using this tool provided by, by the European Commission. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, please, Julia. Yes, thank you very much. So you posed the open question um, about asking for suggestions on priority topics to improve, update, and operationalize the national action plan. Um, I just wanted to comment that obviously we see the council recommendation as a really guiding thread, and we know um, this is very close to your heart as well, but just we really see this uh, joint action with the 50 million euros um, from the European Commission is one way of operationalizing provisions of the Council recommendations. So just to kind of comment to keep this through the whole thread while you work through that exercise. Thank you. Thank you very much for clarifying. We have a question at the back and another one here. Maybe if we could bring a mic. Thank you very much. A microphone. Hi. Uh, just a question on timing. Do you Expect Sorry, for our online audience, would you mind just introducing yourself because they can't see us so necessarily. Uh, oh, okay. So I'm Sofia. I'm from the Public Health Agency of Sweden. Thank you. So I have a question regarding the timing of the map part. So do you expect partner countries to update their maps during the project time on these issues or, or, or on the things that are prioritized? Yes, I, I think that will happen. That uh, that uh, in the in the four years that uh, will uh, will be this joint action. We have council recommendation in which we have said that every three years, uh, member states were going to have a evaluation uh, of the national action plan. So it should be at one point. That doesn't mean that everybody has to do in the same time and in the same way. But maybe on environment, for example, I can imagine that some of us will have to, 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 to update at least the national action plan. So this is not something that we will do in a prescriptive way how to do it and when, but uh, we will provide tools to, to facilitate this update at national level. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Just from a Swedish perspective, we have like our plans like quite separate from the people that are involved uh, in the project and also they have like their own timelines for when they are sort of uh, reviewed and updated and so on so it might not necessarily be within the time frame and also the results of YAMRAI will I think be at least from our work package towards the end of the project so can you just comment a little bit on how you expect your results to like be sustainable it, like after the project has ended and there's no more like liaison officers and so on thanks thank you yes uh, so indeed sustainability by definition means su sustaining beyond the time and the fine financing of uh, uh, of a joint act uh, of a joint action so uh, that will be detailed in a plan we call the sustainability plan uh, which will identify what are the steps to be taken and by whom uh, for the sustainability of uh, joint action uh, priority out, uh, outcomes. And the steps will be dif different for different uh, outcomes. And by out outcome, perhaps one question, what is a, an outcome? Is there an anything produced by the joint action which is worth sus uh, sustaining? And the way to do that is, of course, different depending on which uh, outcome we are talking about. For example, regarding the net networks, uh, the sur surveillance networks. So those are financed on a project mode 
by the joint action and the way to sustain those beyond the time of the joint actions you will need to flesh uh, so see how but those will for, uh, could include for example a way to ident identify relevant uh, institutional financing be it at the national or EU or, uh, or other level. Uh, if we look at, for example, uh, I, uh, IPC guidelines, those could be sus uh, sustained either being uptaken to national guidelines uh, in, in the Deutsche Euro toolbox. Uh, for example, if we look at training material as well, so the way to sus uh, sustain those would be to link with relevant training institutions, ECDC, Deutsche Euro, Deutsche Academy. So, so different outcomes will have different ways to sustain and that will be the work we will be doing so but it will in, in regarding the question regarding the timeline it will very much be a continuous process within the time of a joint action and and the plan the sustainability plan will set out a pathway uh, to sustain those outcomes beyond the time and the financing of a joint action thank you very much Francois we have a, a cluster of questions here maybe we'll start with you Heinz uh, thank you very much. I was uh, also very much interested in this uh, uh, liaison uh, officer. I was wondering what instruments do you give her or him to do this job of uh, disseminating what comes out of work package 4, 5 or maybe all work packages to the countries? I mean, um, it's a difficult, difficult job, isn't it? Uh, just to, well, m maybe suggest you know, what, what we try to do in the partnership animal health and welfare is um, we asked the countries, it, it cannot be made uh, mandatory, but we asked countries to organize uh, national mirror groups. And so animal health uh, and welfare actors of, um, of the countries come together, we propose two times a year to prepare a meeting in, 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 in the partnership. So um, you, you have a bunch of people, yeah, per definition, interested in a topic and, and um, there is a, an, an official or, or structural communication between these liaison officer and yeah, a, a group of people within the country which is interested. So it, it may be interesting to, to think about that. But I have a question as well. How, uh, maybe I missed it. The international, do you, I, I see of course your um, contact with the countries and, and, and harmonize and, and whatever, but do you also have an international, I mean, outside Europe um, strategy? Thank you. Uh, so I was mentioned by uh, Julia uh, 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 earlier, so the beneficiaries uh, in terms of financial beneficiaries can only be EU and associated con uh, countries uh, in terms of the benefits of financial uh, um, uh, benefits of, uh, of uh, 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 joint action being funded by the uh, EU for health uh, instrument, so as a health uh, budget. But in, indeed, uh, the relevance from the, uh, but it is clear that the products, the outcomes of a joint action have value beyond the uh, borders of the EU and have, re uh, have, re uh, sorry, have relevance uh, at a broader level, be it at a pan-European level through the WHO Euro, but also at the international level. So the idea of, so, so one of our goals will be to see how uh, those outcomes can feed into the policy dialogue and feed into the policy work being undertaken at the broader pan-European and uh, international level. So to, to do that, we will link with the WHO Euro, uh, we'll link with WHO, but also perhaps linking with the uh, uh, EU's external action uh, uh, initiatives, such as the um, uh, joint um, so the e, uh, IEE uh, in health security and One, uh, One Health, working on AMO as, uh, as well. So the idea is to look at where, where relevant, because not everything will be necessarily relevant at, the, at all levels, but to see that uh, the relevant uh, outcomes can be used, uh, uh, nourish the policy dialogue at the relevant uh, pan-European or international level. So it, but it's very much uh, of an ad hoc basis. There's no uh, sys systematic way to do that, but it will really depend on the uh, priority outcomes or the work there. I, I, I mentioned, for example, the training. Training clearly has value to be disseminated uh, broader than the EU level, so that has clear you know, immediate relevance. Uh, environmental surveillance, the work in terms of environmental surveillance has value uh, at the pan-European uh, level and international level as well. So we can see how that work can fit into the broader uh, policy work un undertaken in that field and can uh, feed into that. So it will be very much depending on the, uh, on the specifics. 
And I think that uh, it's, it's clear that as Europe we are, we cannot be isolated only working ourselves and we are very much depending also on the international uh, advancements. Uh, we are, we see that the quadripartite is here present today. We have people from WHO, BOA, UNEP was online, FAO is also there behind. And uh, they are also providing the big lines at the global level that we have also as Europe to follow and to try to help to move also the international agenda. So I think that, that uh, even if our focus is Europe, improvement of national action plans, we will have to be very much connected with what is happening beyond uh, and, you. And if I can add as well, we can also see the value of how our work, which is very much important and very significant in its scope and, and the evidence base that we are uh, cre uh, creating here can, pr can help also to strengthen our collective and the e EU voice in the in, in international fora, uh, working for, for example towards the UNGA uh, high level meeting. Uh, so the, it will be interesting to see how our technical work can feed into the broader uh, policy dialogue and can leverage our, our work uh, at that level. So very much uh, something we will look forward to continuing the discussion on within the AMO One Health Policy Group and broader, uh, broader forum. Thank you very much. I think, did, we, yeah, did we have a question from you, Sinead, and then we will come over to you, Julia. Did you want to add something yeah, on this question, Julia? Yeah, if I may, because it links up to that yeah. conversation. So the other um, forum that we have at international level is the Transatlantic Task Force on AMR. So this is a um, collaboration with the USA, Canada, Norway, um, and the UK. So this is one area we, we, we could also promote um, outputs from the joint action. Um, it's really on exchanges of information, sharing best practices, so uh, any priority outputs that you have at the end of the joint action, we can certainly um, yeah, consider spreading to those other international partners then as well. Thank you. Thank you for that precision. Thank you, Julia. Sinead. Yes, <laughs> Do you try again? No. Yep. Yeah, it's working. Okay. So there's one question for, again from Ireland from Amalia Naranjo uh, Lucena. Uh, she asks if the policies arising from these work practice will be implemented at national level or at EU level. Yeah, it's a difficult question because every topic will be very much depending. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, I, the, the idea is that through this work package five, uh, each country implement at their national level and that we all together uh, facilitate the implementation of EU policies, like for example the, the ones that are uh, the, the, the topics that are uh, in the council recommendations that each country have to put in practice and, and to, 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 to do it. We can facilitate uh, this through Work Package 5 and Work Package 4. Uh, but of course uh, each country will have to do their own homework. We can facilitate, we can support, but at the end is responsibility of each of the member states and associated country to do it uh, with, with the help uh, of, of the others. And in this context, we expect that the ones that have more experience in one topic support the ones that need this experience to implement at national level. So at the end is, uh, yeah, teamwork as is set in the, it was said in the last slide. In an elevator. In an elevator or, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Do we have any, because we're, we're actually running out of time. Any other questions from the room or? Right, so we'll, we'll leave it here. Thank you so much. Very May I say, I forgot yeah. to say something. Please. Uh, for the liaison officers that are here, of if one country has not yet designated a liaison officer, but you are here in the room, at 7.30, more or less, before finishing the, the drinks, we will meet all together uh, outside to have a first, yeah, no, it's not a meeting, but just to know each other and to have a lighting. Uh, and all the others are also invited, you want. Fantastic, very clear, super clear. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.